Hello everyone. Similar to last week, we're going to take a look at using text from a drawing downstream by exporting it to a geospatial format. So last week we exported it into Shapefile and we viewed it using the FDO tools available in Map 3D and Civil 3D. So in this week's video, we're going to take a look at importing some of the text back into a drawing after it's already been exported into Shape. We'll look at two different methods. So notice here in my drawing, I have, just to remind you from last week, I have nine pieces of text, which are attributes for these points. They're just M text. And this green text in the middle is Civil 3D labels, so they do not apply here. So just like last week, we're going to type in map export. We'll call this text out two into shape format. We're going to pick text. Go to data, select the attributes, and I won't go through this in detail since we did it last week, but we want to make sure and get the context contents of the M text. And that's going to be our attribute. So we exported those and it should be a point object at the location and it should have at least these three attributes of the contents of the text. So I'm going to go into a new drawing. And one way to get this back in is map import. So again, let's say we needed to bring this text in. So we'll call, call up text out two. And we're going to import this as AutoCAD points. And the data or the attributes we want to bring along, you can see here, the text is going to be under contents like last week. And you can see I'll select one of those points, go to properties, and in the object data, Here's the contents, that's 0.3000. I'll select the second point. It should be, if I go to the object data, should be another attribute. And it is the elevation in this case. So I want to display that. So in this case, I want to bring in the text out of that attribute field into the drawing. We're going to look at two ways. So the first way is just to visualize it directly in this file. So to do that, I'm going to go to map workspace and turn that on map W space. And we're going to right click on map base here. We're going to data, add drawing data and query current drawing. We're going to go to data and we're going to select object data. Here's my tables. And I basically want to say, you know, give me everything that has contents, has this attribute. And then we're just going to hit OK. There we go. So I found all that data. And so you can see now I have a, a new element here called current drawing. You still see the point now. And now I'm going to right click and on this new entry and go to add style text. And it basically builds a text style here. And with that selected, notice I have that selected. I'm going to highlight over properties and here's my value. It just says text label. Well, what is the, the value of all these labels? Well, I'm going to click on the button here for more. I'm going to click on object data, drill down into find our contents attribute. And now you can see for each point, we have the various attributes displayed. And while, with this highlighted, I can go back to properties. I could change the height. I could change the color, what have you. So that's one way, you know, I've, and notice it is text. So I'm good. So that's one way just to grab it right out of the drawing that you're sitting in. But let's take a look at one other case where I've already imported it. So I'm going to go back into a new drawing, close this guy. And we're going to go new again. I'm going to do map import. Text out two. Same thing as last time, object data, create it. Okay. So there we are, we have our points and we know they have the attributes linked in the fields of those points. I'm going to save this drawing. We'll call this query two. 
So let's say in this case, I've imported a bunch of shape data uh, text attributes for a lot of data. And I want to move that some or all of that into another file and show it as the text. Well, I'm going to close this file then. I've saved it. And we're going to go into a new file. And we're going to use the Map Explorer technique. So I'm going to, now I'm in the new drawing, I'm going to go back to Map Workspace and turn it on. And I'm going to go to the Map Explorer and I'm going to attach that drawing I just saved because all that field and uh, attribute contents are in that drawing. So I'm going to right click Attach under the Drawings tab. We're going to find our desktop. There's Query 2, add it. So now we're attached. I can look into that file and grab things. Well, I'm going to grab those attributes and view them as the contents of the text. So I'm going to right click on query define. And for location, we're going to grab everything. All. And we're going to draw it in the file. And as we draw it, we're going to alter the properties. What are we going to alter? We're going to alter the text. So we're going to in the text value field, we're going to object data. This is very similar to what we just did, pick contents. But since it's in a different drawing, we can link directly to it. So I'm saying, okay, grab everything. And then for the text value, enter the field contents for each point and view that. We're going to draw, query mode set to draw, execute. And now I'm going to fit the screen. And you can see here now, this is text again, just like before. And I could detach this drawing now if I'd like. I don't really need it anymore. And of course, I still have my text. It is imported. I could have done just pieces, like I could have used the location query just to grab maybe one circle, one area of the text. You know, I, draw, I brought in everything here because it wasn't much. So now I could go in and select and look at the properties. And you can see the contents of this is simple text mapped the contents mapped into this field. So today we've looked at some options for importing some text back in after we've brought it out into a geospatial format. I hope this has been beneficial. Have a great day.